Greetings, listeners, and welcome to the very first session of Int Plays at the Table. This is a, it's, I've finally been encouraged to get off my butt and do get my, get the podcast started and going again. And I have gotten some of the original cast members from Int finally back in here again. And we have a new member. So, yes, and this is a great departure from my usual goofy self, where I do goofy subversions of usually like D&D and other such tabletops, but this time I'm taking things very serious, and yeah, I'm actually going by the book for this, because that's how much this campaign and story means to me. It's, I will do a discretion right now, things are going to get very dark. We deal with very touchy themes, so I warn right now. Your discretion is advised. Now, for my lovely players, I am joined. I am joined by Sam. Who is playing? Step away. <laughs> Hello, I am Sam. I'm playing as the seal. Excellent. And then I am joined by, of course, SN. And she. And who are you playing as? I am playing EC and AK Figs ah. for uh, reasons. Mm-hmm. Yes, we had an amazing session zero, and oh yeah. <laughs> And then we are joined by, of course, the one, the only, Royal Flush. And who are you playing as? Uh, El- I'm playing as LC, the uh, robotic kobold, who just, he really likes music. Fan. It calms him. Excellent. And players, to now allow me to introduce you to the world that is the Astral Plane. Many, many years ago, it's all the races, all your typical races, they tried to conquer the astral plane, but this is foolish. One cannot conquer the astral plane. It, it is its own it is its own thing. And after so many years, so many centuries, they realized this is a failed endeavor. One cannot conquer it. You must coexist with it. So with the help of the auto gnomes, they were able to create the cluster which is a mass herd and a mass herd of planet-sized ships for that have all the different races that make up in the astral plane. This is not your typical light-hearted fantasy universe. This is more akin to a darker setting. So, we had some very interesting elements when we at our session zero with the seer and figs here. We are starting off in, actually in the open astral sea. Now, which ship shall I go with first? Hmm. All three of you, could you roll me a d20, please? I got an eight. Mm-hmm. I got a thirteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sixteen. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is how we're going to do it. A big void scarver. That is only known as Big Mama is of course sailing through and she is very hungry. Unfortunately, she has not been finding any good kitchens lately to scavenge off of. Can't have that. Until well, 
this might be fortuitous or however you think about it, Figs, but there is a wasp shit and it is actually sending out a distress signal because Mama has it in its sight. And this is most unfor- most unfortunatus because this is a supply ship. And it looks like this one was actually coming from the Hadozi ship. So the the imports that is coming from this ship it can't just go back and re-get all the supplies. This is a one-time, one-get, so if they lose these, there's going to be a lot of imports that are not going to be available. Mm-hmm. Uh, the captain of that ship is probably going to be pleading a uh, whoopsie-daisy. Mm-hmm. I accept this, yes. You you hear on the distress signal, we have a whoopsie-daisy, we have a whoopsie-daisy. Historically, that's a bad time. A very, very bad time. So, allow me just to take one look at one thing real quick. Okay. But how far away am I from it? Okay. So... Thankfully, it just had enough time before you could get to the area, to the vicinity. It had enough time to do one swallowing bite. The wasp takes some damage, but it's not going to destroy it to get into the hole. It just swings by, locks its locks her teeth into the side of the hole, tries to do a thrashing movement, but nope, not good enough. And she just goes back to trying to circle circle the ship. Okay. She's not and then that, how so far go ahead, away mo- mo- Um, go ahead and move your ship to how close you want it to be now. You now have now you have freedom to movement. So go ahead and move that to where you think you would be, because you have enough time to make it to around this area, cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right well, away. Well, I, I just need to be 120 feet away, so. Oh, hold on. So. You're only 50 feet away. Okay, well, uh. Yeah, you're, you're well within distance, so you don't even need. What would you like to do? How many actions do we have for a ship? For your ship? Yeah. I'm going to allow you an action and a bonus action. Ooh, okay. Um, well, this is going to take a bit, uh, but I am loading a ballista, and that's my action. <laughs> okay, you know, that's fair. All right. Did you want to take any bonus actions? Uh, well, it's it's three actions to use the ballista, so there's okay. not really any bonus. Okay, just wanted to be fair. Just just wanted to see. It's all right. So Big Mama still is just doing as your typical predator, staying in the same vicinity. And my ever-lovable, full of whimsy... The seer. Why, yes, dearie. Your ship's navigator, they hail, the, they hail you and say, Captain, I'm making, I'm making eyes with a very large void scarver that is attacking a, a, a supply line ship. Lord Nibbles is just... Meh. Now, now, Lord Nibbles. I he, know we can't have that. He, he just points in the direction of the voice cover. 
I think I recognize that ship. That's the one that carries your treats. Hey. Well, I guess we really need to make haste. So what I think I'm going to do is move my ship a little bit closer. All right, go ahead and move your ship to where you would like to. And you may take an action this year. I think I'm going to shoot a beautiful amount of nightshade to, to that very hungry monster. See if I can't help fill her belly. <laughs> Ooh, nightshade. Okay, you know what? Is that a... Let me take a look real quick. I just want to tell you right now, Sam, you actually can fire your ballista as well. Okay. It, it just takes... So, the way it works is on your sheet, you see crew and you see five. Mm-hmm. It just takes three to fire your ballista. One that one action to one to load, one to aim, and one action to fire. Oh, and cat, fire your ballista. Okay. Yeah, so pretty, pretty much it seems like your action economy is based on your crew size. So having having a crew, a larger crew, is is ideal. And well, if you have less is, than, like, if you have less than a minimum. <laughs> oh, guess. Oh, it, um, I'm gonna let you know right now. Big Mama doesn't have that high of a flipping AC. She only has a 15. Oof. Oh no, that's a 22 two hit. <laughs> that's what I mean, Cash. She only has a 15 armor class. So yeah, you uh, hit. It's, it's a three D ten. Oh. <laughs> okay, you guys actually might end this a lot. F- yeah, you're gonna end this a lot sooner than. <laughs> because my dear, the seer, after your your round, this is most likely because yeah, I'm gonna need you to roll a d twenty and then add six to it because that's what your ballista is to hit. Oh. Damn, that's a high. Okay, so you roll. And nine plus six is fifteen, dearie. Hit. So oh, you know, I so need much you... nightshade. So I need you to roll three d ten. I'm going to, and we're going to say you infuse the ballista bullet with nightshade. Yay! That was also a twenty six for my. <laughs> so you guys, my spring be superb. And so. I have 20. Okay, so that is 46. Okay, not yet. This actually, there is enough time for Alcide, for you to take an action. Because, you, because your ship navigator has told you, Hey, Alcide, I see that big, beautiful bounty is, avail- is just happening to be swimming around. And I think we can also make an extra pretty dime if we happen to save this merchant, si- merchant ship. So, what do you think? What do you say, boss? Oh man, we can only move thirty-five feet. <laughs> I'll let you move more than that. Well, no, no, I was—I'm just cracking up. That's super slow. Yeah, that's Not, dumb. Wait, is that your? Oh, oh, that's right. Mine's fast, so I could fly seventy. Yeah, well, I'm a cargo ship. Well, I'm. <laughs> A cargo ship with a lot of guns and a boarding party. It's it, well. It's I. I wanted you to have one because of who you are. Can't yeah, reveal yeah. yet. Can't reveal yet, listeners. You'll find out. Well, but yeah. there's a reason why I picked th- this ship for you. Makes sense. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, allow you to move fifty feet. Are we Are we counting every grid on the board uh, five. as? Oh, that's five. just five. Okay. Five. Not ex- not expensive. I wanted to keep it to where it's not going to kill you to move three spaces. Oh, does he move fifty because he jury rigged his ship? <laughs> yep. Well, fifty would put me dead on. Basically, I'd be right here. Excellent. Go ahead. It's your ship's in space. I just, I think the idea of being limited to thirty five is just a little silly, it's, even with all well, your we'll weight. See. Well, we could say that I'm unladen at the moment because uh, that's this is a rather heavy ship for cargo and armor mm-hmm. for reasons that I'm not positive of yet. So, uh, how large is what? How large is your crew? Uh, fifteen. 
That means you have 15 points for actions. Wait, Kat, uh, Kat how, how, much, uh, how many crew members do you have? I have nine. Oh, I have a large crew then, too. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how that, you know, went against <laughs> anyone else's. I'm like a cruiser versus your... Uh... Fair enough, yeah. Um, this year, your crew is ten people. Oh, that's fantastic. So you'll have 10 actions for your ship to work with. Okay, so it takes three crew each for my ballista. It's one, just one to aim, one to one load, to fire, and one yeah. to fire. Yep. So you you know it's a roll, 20 hits. You, if, hopefully it just allows you to click it, but if you can't, just roll 20 plus 6. Uh, it Let's see. Let's see if... The, oh, wait. I could probably click the action. Does that do it? Yep. That rolled your... Wait, wait, no. I just, that was just your damage. Damn oh, it. no, no, no. It did, it did a d20, uh, but it didn't add any proficiencies or anything. Right, so so it'd be a 14. Right. Mm, okay, for your first shot, it just goes past Mama. You were just one under her armor. Okay, so remember you have fifteen, so you still yeah. have you still have time. Uh oh, oh that, that one hits. Hit. That yeah, one that hits. hits a twenty-one. And it looks like your damage is twenty-five. Okay, well, it is with this that Big Mama looks lets out a lets out a cry, just like a like a whale would, and takes off for a wild space, and she disappears. Now, I was I'll see. Fun. I'll see because you actually landed the ending blow. The merchant ship hail. Well, the supply ship hails you first. Well, I'm glad I didn't take my next action. <laughs> Because I was going to clamp onto it with the grappling jaws. Oh, no. Oh. That would have been bad. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, it would, uh. wouldn't, wouldn't be the first time El Cid's been warped into wild space. Oh, he, <laughs> oh. Oh, I have El Cid. There's, there's a certain crew looking for you in wild space. I don't think you want to go there yet. Yeah, it's just a Tuesday. So you're being hailed you're being hailed by by the merchant vessel. And they are just expressing their oh thank you so much. It's we owe you so much. Um well Captain, how much from the treasury can we spare? Hmm. Well of course for this was especially because it was Big Mama that attacked our ship. You know what? I I only see it right. They offer you a hundred gold. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean in and uh, be like, "Well, those ballistas I fired. I mean, they're, they they don't come cheap. Uh, I would like to use. All right, now let, let's call it deception. Maybe I'd like now... to use deception." Now here's now here's how I now that I've been taking how I do Cyber City. This is how we're going to do it, B. Oh, I actually want you to role play what you're going to say, and when you roll your deception, that's just how much extra you sell it. This all depends on how you role play this next moment. So go ahead. Uh, I don't right. want you to be held back by your roll. Well, yeah, of course, ballista aren't cheap. You know, it's it doesn't make sense. A hundred gold for your lives. And your money, obviously. Two very important things to me. Someone who just is looking out for the the little man, if you will. The captain is overhearing this and roll that deception roll as he calls over the coffer. (laughs) For fun history lesson for everyone, if you don't know what a coffer is, that is someone who handled the coins. Who handled the treasury bank. I got a 13 plus 9, so that's 22. 
How's 300 gold sound? I think that'll uh, sufficiently restock our, uh, our, our weapon holds. And are your men hungry by, by chance? Do they need food? Do you need any resupply? How many of my crew are not robot people? Probably none, right? They'd all be probably some oh, no, sort the, of... The, they're they're all some... Yeah, exactly. They're all some form of living gear forge. And he goes, I also have um, plenty of plenty of machine machine maintenance supplies. So if you need anything to keep up for like clockwork gears or any of the such, we'll be happy to supply you with that as well. Oh, I, I keep sufficient stores of of uh, repair parts on board, but food is something that I sometimes overlook. Uh, I believe they would probably appreciate a meal once every fortnight or so. Oh, of course. Well, next time you happen to land on any of the planets, make sure to mention to any of the merchants that you helped the uh, Gilded Wasp, and we'll make sure that you get taken care of. One day I should figure out how often these humans need to eat. It's been a while. Uh, I will say you're one of the more nicer gear fours I've had the pleasure to meet. Thank you again for your assistance. I I must hail these other two ships that happen to assist us. Thank you again. Of course, any time. The Seer. Yes, dearie? You approach... The Gilded Wasp. And they hail you as you approach. Thank you, thank you. We cannot thank you enough for the assistance you provided. We have prepared a a reward that we hope is sufficiently sufficient for... That is sufficient for you. They have a bag of 150 gold for you. 150 gold. Hmm... Lord Nibbles is sniffing the air, just looks at you this year, and just... Eh. I'm sorry, what's that, Lord Nibbles? Eh. As, he looks at the, as he looks at the gilded wasp and looks back at you, and he looks down at his tummy. Eh. You don't think Lord Nibbles believes that it's only 150? I think we can sweeten the pot now, can't we? In exchange for your lives, of course. <laughs> Roll your um persuasion for me, please. I-, I just need to see if they... They persuasion, persuasion. What the fuck is it? I have to. I'll help you real quick. Yes, please. I'm on my way. And it's right under performance, and you're uh, like on our skills. There we go on core. Yeah, yeah. it's probably about oh. three quarters down. Oh, good god! There we go. I got it rolled for you. You roll it for yourself. Yeah, damn it! You roll it, please. <laughs> well, he was hoping that uh, it's a little better. Oh, that's it actually, better. Yeah. Oh, it's actually much better. So, the captain starts laughing and goes, "Hump!" For someone of such comedy, there. Of course, yes, yes, yes. We we'd have no problem adding another fifty gold. And how it does, uh. Some of the some of these very special giant hamster giant hamster treats sound. We'll provide four barrels, of course. Does that sound fair to you, Lord Nibbles? Lord Nibbles nods his head happily. Well, if he's happy, then I'm sure I can be happy too. <laughs> and would would your crew? Do you need any? Supplies for your crew? Do they need any food or any of the such? The seer looks back at his crew. Do you need anything while we're here? Because I really don't want to turn this ship around. It's 
you know, maybe some some extra food in the ships would actually would actually help, and maybe some just to ensure that we have drinking water as well. Well, there you have it. The captain overhears and goes, "Ah, yes, yes, no issue at all, no issue at all." They provide you with the it equals the weight of one ton of food and water and medical oh, you- supplies. Oh, you're very generous. <laughs> I do have, like you. I think I I'm going to keep a special eye on you. We have had a most fortuitous fortuitous year. It, it has been very good. And actually, to let you on a secret, my newfound friend, apparently, yeah. word is word is being passed around the cluster that that. Well, everyone's favorite bastard, Lord Giftman, has been assassinated. Apparently, oh. it was someone from the Abyssal Race. Abyssal Race? Is son it? A, the son of a bitch was poisoned, it appears. Hmm. They, had, they, had the, they, had the, they had the nerve to, to even lay hand upon Mr. Andelson. How dare they? And what, pray tell, the type of poison is it? You know, for you, my newfound friend, I will do some investigating, and if I can find out that very information, I will leave it at the Merchant Guild Hall. Please, just make sure to go in and tell the local, local guild, mas- guild chap- chapter master at whatever part of the cluster you're at that you are acquaintance with the Gilded, gilded Wasp, and they will make sure to pass along any messages I leave. Oh, I think that will be quite nice. As a uh, newfound friend, let me tell you, as long as you keep the information coming, I'll keep the ship safe. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure that you and your crew do what you do and live. Okay? Hmm. Come if, on, Lord Nibbles. Hmm. <laughs> My newfound friend, before you walk away, if you are offering such an offer, I do not feel right for taking advantage of your kindness. I must simply offer you payment for such a thing. How does hmm? how does fifty gold every fortnight sound? Oh, I think we're gonna be best friends. <laughs> Thank, thank you. What may I call you? Well, they call me the CEO. And that's what you can call me too. Thank you. My name is the my name is Jolly Rogers. You may just call me Rogers. The CEO is going to lift his hat and do a very low bow in his sweet whimsical way. Before he prances away. Thank you very much, my newfound friend. And now I must just must hail the last ship that offered us assistance. Off you go. Thank you, thank you. And be safe on your travels. Now, my last ship. Figs. Asian. <laughs> Your navigator is hailing you, telling you, oh, the merchant ship is requesting communication lines with us. Proceed. The captain hears your voice and goes, oh, my goodness, I apologize. I didn't realize the sheer gravity of who I was contacting. Uh, My apologies, princess. It's, I just... Wish to offer my sincere gratitude for the assistance you offered us. You really, ha- you really helped the cluster because if we could not deliver these, deliver these items, a lot of planets, a lot of members of the cluster would surely sar- starve throughout the season. This throughout the seasons coming. If well, if it is enough of a sign of gratitude, we would we want to present you a. This 150 gold. Sorry, can you repeat that bit? <laughs> they, want, they want to offer you 150 gold. Okay. I was just going to say, I... 
the gold is not necessary. Instead, may perhaps I may uh, ask for a favor to be returned instead. Of course, I would not feel right without at least it's. I have a debt. I have a debt of gratitude, a uh, life debt to you now. So yes, please ask away. I'll keep you noted when the time arises. So, when you need me, if you are happen to be on any planet in the cust- cluster and you happen to see the Merchant's Guild, just go inside and ask to speak to the Guild Chapter Master and ask for Jolly Rogers, the captain of the Gilded Wasp. Very well. Now... Does your ship need any supplies? Do your, does your crew need any food, water, or medical supplies? All three would be preferable. I like to keep well stock of everything. They're, they stock your ship with one ton of food, water, and medical supplies. Once again, we cannot express our sincere gratitude to you enough. Be safe on your travels, and I will be ex- waiting for your call for this favor. Thank you, and safe travels yourself. Once again, thank you. And the ship takes off. Now, now my three players. Well, B is actually on break, so I will first... I would actually ask, to like, I want to talk to you, the seer. Yes, dearie. Hold on. Let us change the scenery. Boop. We are on your ship. Now, what... Now, oh, let me just update the settings real quick, because you cannot see this. And let me refresh. All right. Can you see your ship map now? Yes. Yes, I can. All right. Fantastic. Now, here's my question for you this year. Are you on the main deck, the crew deck, or the cargo deck? Well, I would be on the main deck on top of the tree. Excellent. Give me a perception roll. Ooh. I wonder, I wonder what I will spy. Lord Nibbles stayed on the ground because he has a fear of heights. Hmm. Oh, it's okay, Lord Nibbles. Well, I'm just having a look-see. Hmm. I have a 19. Wunderbar, you actually see quite a few number of planets, but three closest that you would be able to reach. It wouldn't take that much time for you. You happen to see the planet of the Cree, the planet in the cluster cluster that houses the Crean. You've heard they can be a little snooty, but still, it's Anything is better than what you had been going through with the GIF. Hmm. You're... And then you are actually... Clo- you're close to the... You're also close to one of the cluster that actually happens to house the... Well, you know that they call them... They're called the Dragonborn. It's... But most people call this a planet of savages. It's, but they're, but that's only the un, the uneducated. This is a planet. This is a planet of the cluster of proud warriors. It's the best way to relate them. They would be Mongolians, nomads, war, warriors. It's, and right now their current, their current chief, chieftain, the Khan. He is. Both a benevolent and vicious ruler at the same time. He is benevolent to his people, but to people that come to his ship, who come to his lands, you 
better come with the proper attitude. Or you might find your head on a pike. In Ooh. front of his tent. The risk... The rewards really are worth the risk, though. And then, last but not least... You see the planet that ha- the ship that houses the tabaxi and the catfolk. Right now, you know that ship is currently going through its it's a horrendous civil war between the catfolk and the tabaxi. Hmm. But yes. whoever wins. If you help them out, they you could have a big debt from them. These are your three choices I offer you this year. Take your time. You have plenty of time. You this is just what you spy. Decisions, decisions. Which one would be the most entertaining? Hmm. Ah. Let's see if we can have a little fun with the uh, Mongolians as you describe them. Ah, you're going to the cons. Mm-hmm. Excellent choice. Excellent choice. Because as I said, these are the Dragonborn. These are proud warriors. Their, their colony is actually... A conquered, not a lo- massive gargantuan, not a Lloyd. A not a Lloyd, you yeah. say? Yes, it's. It actually looks like it's a living squid creature that is crawling through the astral plane, just keeping pace with the with the rest of the colony. Oh, I rather like squids. They're so tasty with the right sauce. Your ship flies in between his tentacles as you're approaching the dock of the Nautiloid. Iris, easy girl. Try to fly steady, will you? Mm. Oh, shh. Lord Nibbles is actually very excited. Okay. Mm. I think I'm going to saddle up on Lord Nibbles so we can take a look together. See if there's some uh, tasty folk to eat. Oh, it's something else that Lord Nibbles' behavior... As we're getting ready to switch, um, as you get off the dock and you're riding Lord Nibbles, you see the, well, well, best way to put it is the welcoming party and the Khan himself, as he is, they are all riding on their own giant space hamsters, as Lord Nibbles smells a familial bond with these hamsters. Do you know them, Lord Nibbles? Mm. Oh, pray tell. The oldest of the hamsters, the one which Khan, the Khan rides, is very big. And she, her great fur is shaggy, but it is very gray. She spots Lord Nibbles. <coughs> oh. My, my. This is your family, isn't it? Lord Nibbles nods. Mm. Well, I shan't keep you. Go and enjoy your family. I shall wait. The Khan actually sees how you react. We respect those that respect family. He gets off of... They all dismount their giant hamsters and let them all run to Lord Nibbles to 
start rubbing their scent, getting their scent on him happily, nuzzling with him to be reunited with him. Well, Lord Nibbles is very precious to me. And if he is happy, then I am happy too. And if he is harmed well, there is no hellscape you can hide from me. But he, he is happy, so as I say, I'm happy too. As you gaze upon the chieftain, you see he is seven foot five, about a good 350 pounds. He just wears a very simple, a very simple cloak. And it's actually his massive dreads that come off the top of his head that are decorated. His braids are extremely long. And then there's just chunks of golden runes embedded in the dread, in the dreads. Ooh. Each each golden notch in my braid is was a was a tribe I conquered. I didn't oh. stop until I unified the entirety of this ship. They knew, this is why I respect you, little one, because I follow the same belief. I offered them one choice. Kneel or die. I mean, you don't have to ask me to kill you. I was Hmm. planning to already. Hmm. Interesting. I like you. Come. We will enjoy a drink. And you will tell me why you've come to my land. Your drink sounds nice. I'm here to... I'm looking for entertainment. I'm quite bored, you see? Mm. Maybe a round in the... in the blood games. Maybe a viewing of the slaughter games will entertain you. Yes! As my guest, I will take you. You'll have an honored seat. Oh, that sounds quite nice. Any way I could join in? Hmm. Yes. Would you like to represent me? Represent you? Be my champion. Ooh, that sounds delightful. Excellent. Come. We. This is a momentous day. Usually, strangers, they run in fear when I offer such a deal. You, you, I, re- I respect. Come. Please, tell me, honored one, what is your name? Well, you can call me Seal. I am Gubla Khan. Well, it's charming to meet you, Gubla Khan. <laughs> Come, I shall prepare you, let you know, and you will be happy to know there are no rules in the combat. Oh? Really? Mm. Rules keep the best combat at bay. When there are no rules, we see the best of bloodshed. Oh, theory. It's music to my ears. Excellent. Follow me, my... Follow me, the seer. I'm following. As the seer follows Gubla Khan, and Lord Nibbles just happily walks with his herd, I need to now join you, figs. Because you have received some very, very distressing recent messages that have come in. Mm, Your your communications expert has just told you that the communication crystal... For one, the 
palace attendant has said that it's most odd because we thought you had just left because you ha- took your ship, but we've had numerous reports that you are here in the palace. And then, of course, that very alarming one from Mr. Winston Elfhill. That was just... I need to speak to you. And make sure you have the right face on when you come talk to me. Bastian just looks at you with a distressed look. Should should we just not go and we we can go anywhere else? What do you think? As much as I would wish for that, I know it'll only bring trouble. And I'd rather go there and find out what he wants than be hunted down for impersonating a princess. Well, I will let you know that the reason why I decided to go with you is that I did not change my mind. I said I was marrying you. And yes, so I will be with you every step of the way. I greatly appreciate That's a pity. <laughs> oh, Bastion's panicking as well. Just, oh, I've heard stories of how these, that they're very smug, but when it comes to punishment, (laughs) those stories are horrifying. (laughs) Anything that was worse than his father is just, oh boy. You reach the bombard, and you exit the, onto the docks, but Figs, there's no mm-hmm. guards or anything waiting for you. Everything's fine. It's strange enough people are still saying, oh, it's the princess. It's And they bow to you. Bastion happily keeps up the image for you. Just, um, yeah, thank you, dear citizens. I am going to be the new face you see around. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, back in her uh, princess attitude, she's gonna completely ignore them in favor of what she has to do. Excellent. Now, just as allow me to move to the map. Boo 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 boo. Where Mr. Elfhill told you to go to, it's an interesting part of one of these living living ships, one of these giant ships, because you're he told you to meet him at no it says you're a naval base, but that's not in reality what this is. This is Well it was an old military compound, but it's been converted into a resort now. Mm-hmm. Ever since well, you were calling her your mother. And Mr. Elf Hill is just waiting out there for you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Ah! Hmm, good, good. Come with me. I, I, I believe we have much to talk about inside. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Could be dead silent, but follows. <laughs> and as you're following behind him, yep, there's the princess, and there's the uh, young lady she ran off with. They're both sitting with their heads down. And Mr. Elfhill turns to you with the happiest look on his face. By Joe, you're a changeling, I see. <laughs> Am I right? You would be correct. This is momentous, stupendous, fantastic. <laughs> I 
Now, you see, dear, now you see, my, my dear tangling friend, um, <laughs> the queen, uh, the mother of that one, she is in the hands of that pr- Prince Zell, that, that pompous high elf. <laughs> yes. And she is believing every word that he has asked to say that we are protected and that we can believe everything that he says. <laughs> well, of course, I don't believe a word that he says. Um, <laughs> those high elves, no, 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 no. They don't watch out for the cluster. <laughs> uh-huh. They truly believe they're, they're the best of the best, and they know what's best for everyone. <laughs> now, granted, I know that we're better than, mo- than most of you out there. I mean, what elves? What else could there be? <laughs> oh, yes. His mother's proper fae. But I've heard good things about you, changelings, that you have a good sense on your head. <laughs> yes. I have an offer for you. You've already worn the mantle of princess. <laughs> yes. How would you like to take it a step farther? Wear the mask of the queen. <laughs> yes. Do I have a choice, really? <laughs> oh, 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 no. You see, I hate to do this, my, <laughs> my dear tangling, but... <laughs> you see, where we are... Yes. You have no choice, because <laughs> if you happen to refuse me... It's not you I'm going to punish. <laughs> no, I'm going to do, provide you the worst punishments of them all because I believe you think this young lady uh, to be your friend, correct? <laughs> yes. Right. Well, be well, even with her royal pedigree, that will not protect her from my special form of punishment. Because uh, this compound, you believe it to be a resort. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is my private torture grounds, young lady. And, oh, oh the sights I could show this young lady. <laughs> yes. So, no. If you refuse me, <laughs> I will let you go free. But for every day you are out there, I'm going to lock her in my, in my playground. And she will be at the hands of my, she'll be my newest plaything. And <laughs> to show you just what would be waiting for her, he points to your direction, he points to his left. Cat, mm-hmm. you see tied to a leash? You can't tell if it was male or female. All it is is just it's on its stumps of its legs and arms. Mm-hmm. Its eyes and mouth have been sewn shut. And it's just... <laughs> yes, that's, that was my most enjoyable pet and the one that's survived the longest. Well, one year in my playgrounds. Just, now, you wouldn't want your dear friend to end up like that now, would you? The choice is yours, of course. She's not going to answer right away, but, uh... Bastion is bleeding from his hands. I'm going to give you a chance to calm him down. What would you like to do? Because he is extremely upset that this man is threatening you like this. (laughs) He's about... He's looking like he's going to reach for the rapier that's on his side. Would you like Speaking to say anything? Rain ears. <laughs> uh, hers is currently like shaky, very angrily at her side, but she's gonna call her feelings and just lay a hand on his shoulder, like shake her head, and then turn to Winston and like, "I accept." <laughs> you see, I didn't even need to twist your arm. You had a choice in the matter, did you not? <laughs> yes, but, yes, yes, yes. Now, but, yes. 
She's going to move. She's going to move closer to him. If he he threaten, responds in kind. If you threaten everyone else ever again like that, if you do anything like that, and she's going to point to the person, mm -hmm. I will slit your throat faster than you could respond. <laughs> you know, I mean, Ao. I guess. We have something else in common besides us both having a secret of who we really are. But we both have a penchant for violence, it sees. I'm going to enjoy our partnership together. <laughs> I'm going to give you some time to prepare your affection order. <laughs> Wait for Mike. When I signal to you, I will have you come back to the palace. Oh... Now, granted, I know you just told me, but the queen must die. I hope you're okay with this. This is not for, for this is, of course, for the betterment, for the, for the people, of course. I don't do this lightly. I'll find okay. a way for it to be done. Actually, you know what? For you to prove yourself to me, I will let you personally handle it. <laughs> yes, I think that is the right decision. Now, I must go because <laughs> we found a most interesting individual, and I do believe that he needs my special form of questioning. <laughs> now... Do your best to ignore anything you hear coming from the other room, my dear. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. He leaves, and as a door opens, you see what looks like an abyssal, and he's missing one leg. He's missing an eye, and they're t and they're. Laying on a gurney on a table. <laughs> yes. Now, let's see how many of your teeth I can get from your mouth before you start telling me the truth and I believe what you have to say. No, no, no! As the door closes as he starts ripping teeth from his mouth. Figs. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Bastian looks at you and goes, D do you want to grab them and get out of here? She's gonna nod. She is like bright red with fury. It took everything in her not to cast wrathful smite. <laughs> I I'm really sorry, Kat. I didn't mean to go that hard on you. I apologize. <laughs> no, no. I'm really sorry. <laughs> like she's a gentle person, but that like mm. that mm. angers her. <laughs> okay, it, 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 my conscience is it's ah. Uh, I, I feel bad for going that hard, <laughs> it, but I. But so we, continuing on, it's yes, it's mm. you know what? I'm going to give you this. I'm not going to make you roll for this because, like I said, I feel a little bad for how hard I went there. This is a freebie. You're able to quell your rage. <laughs> you coolly, you calmly are able to get your friend probably from her uh, radiator flying from her hip and slashing whatever he seems like he would enjoy the most. <laughs> oh. Now I'm not gonna make you rush and go to the dock. Is there anything you would like to do? You have to... it's up to you. Cause he'll find a way to contact you to let you know. But do you just want to get out of here or do you want to take the time to see if the princess needs to do anything before leaving? Honestly, like, I have all her clothes, so she doesn't need that. Uh, I am... Some a changeling. I would know where they would be. Uh, so she's gonna create a cipher. Ooh. To send to her, her own family warning of this man. 
I am so happy you just did that. <laughs> so you saved your family just now. That communication you send through your communication crystal, your family gets it. Just as they're fleeing through the escape hatch, the safety tunnel, the emergency tunnel in their home, their door is kicked in. There are shock troopers that come in. These answer directly to the High Elves. They make up a select group of all of the Cluster's races. <laughs> hmm. They're not here. Commander, we were told that if we couldn't find them and that if we have to seek them out, use lethal force. We're, it's our, they're already gone, filthy changelings. The minute you lose sight of them, they're already going to be gone. There's no way we can try to track their scent because they'll just hide it and disguise it. He spits on the ground. Filthy, filthy changelings. <laughs> Burn it to the ground. Leave nothing here. He looks and he sees... A portrait of your family. He takes it. This will be good. If they make the mistake of revealing their true selves, we can... We'll use these for the wanted posters. We must... So remember, we have been ordered to bring this family here. Prince Zell must have this changeling under his control. They do a salute where their fist is... They make a fist and they put it to their chest. Mm -hmm. But it's turned to the side and then with their other fist, they put it behind their back. Mm -hmm. Sir! For the betterment for the cluster! For the betterment of the people. For the for the High Council! They burn your home to the ground. Your family safely flees. No one is captured. Good job, Figs. And now, finally... I'm going to come to you, Alcide. Well, hello. Alcide, tell us a little bit about yourself, actually. Well, that's, uh, that's the thing. Uh, Alcide doesn't know himself much about himself, or much about where he comes from. Alcide's not even his real name. It's the name he was assigned when he was uh, put back together. He's not even positive that he was a kobold. At one point or another. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this. Thank I'm you. Sure, baby. you will. Thank you. But now, you listen. Let's not mince words. Your group seems extremely shady and sus. I'll leave it up to you how much you want to reveal about them right now, but. You are getting a call from on your communicate. You're being hailed on your communication crystal on your ship, and you know this. But you know this is one of the many whisperers within the. Let's we can call it a guild, guild chapter. The many guild chapters of what you represent. They have the whisperers. They represent he the head the guild chapter master. Now, the whisperers are his voice, and this whisperer is just Alcide, one of our more talented agents, are one of our more highest earners. We have a problem, and we were wondering if you would like to take care of it for us. What's the problem? Because depending on the problem, I might have a solution. One of our more, well, we can just say one of our agents who specializes in infiltration and espionage 
He didn't realize just who he was going after, and he has been caught. He is currently being interrogated. Now, that's never ideal. A man of, well, someone of such a gilded tongue as yours, and such, such special talents, we think you would be the best to herald his recovery. We need him brought back. Now, it is okay if he is already dead. We just need to ensure his body is brought back. Remember. So it's a not a rescue mission, per se, but more of a retrieval? Recovery. Asset recovery. Sure. Well, not my favorite thing to do, but it is always right up in my wheelhouse. Remember, there is... Power in our names, uh, because we are abyssals, it's unfortunately, it's, and uh, that one, he had a list, a particular list on him, and granted, we were very tricky because we had that list specially engraved on his very flesh, on the inside of his flesh, but... If this interrogator happens to flay him, he will find the list of the Whisperer's names, and he will be able to find our internal secrets. You know as much as we know, we do not value the High Council, Alcide. Yeah, of course. Now, when you say that I, uh, he, he, had, uh, he was well-known, would I know him? This one that you're looking for. With what they're describing, yes, very well indeed you know this one. He is hmm. he is an imp. I've never much liked them. Normally he is at the top of his game. Something must have really set him off for this to have happened, for him to drop the ball like this. But his misfortune is your fortune, so to say, because the Whisperer says, now, I'll seed. We have been keeping an eye on you, and we have been very impressed with your progress. We have been very impressed with what you have been bringing, the profits you have brought forward to us, the clientele you have brought, and we think it is time for you to take your next step. If... All goes well, and you are able to succeed in this asset recovery. We think a position in the Whisperers will be open to you. And this will mean you will yourself be able to have a direct line to the Guild Chapter Master. Uh, Well, what one couldn't do with that? (laughs) <laughs> I thought you'd be interested. Now, you will need to go to the Bombard. That is the ship with those pesky astral elves. I know it. And I know them. Now, thankfully, we have prepared for you to be welcomed by who you need to speak with. It is up to you if you want to just... Proceed directly and have an open line of negotiations face to face, or if you wish to have things be a little more on the our side and you just find a way to take it under his nose, we'll allow the choice to be yours, Alcide. Any information that could be provided early on would be helpful, but. You point me in the right direction, and I'll make sure that I find your, uh, asset. When you are, when you get close, when you, once you land, and you make, and you, and you have, make docked, and you have docked, seek out, seek out the, well, as you know, we take many different names, we take many different fronts, you're going to approach Approach the, well, it's the local, I don't remember what's the proper term. Well, I'll just say the Carpenter's Guild. When you approach the door, knock four times, 
with a knock knock pause knock pause knock. The gentleman that will come out will provide you with the plans to the building. Just a little helpful little extra from me to you. I'm expecting big things from you, Alcide. And this is a direct message from the guild chapter leader. The guild chapter master, so... Good luck, Alcide. Uh, luck's never one of my favorite things. <laughs> I prefer to make sure that the wheel spins on my side, if you know what I mean. Excellent. We'll... We will be waiting for, waiting for your, for your update to us. Good luck. And, well, as you said, you do not le- need luck. We'll, waiting, we'll be waiting for your successful call saying you are done. And they close the line of communication. I'll see, do you head straight to the Bombard? Or do you stop anywhere else along the way? What would you like to do? Well, I don't see any reason not to head straight to the Bombard. I mean, might as well just get the get this show on the road, you know? Mm-hmm. And just to let you know, we're getting close to the end of the session. It's just I need to give you your final, your setup scene. Sure. Give you your chance. So, excellent. You, you make... You make dock, and thankfully the cover that your, well, your ship navigator presents to, presents to the dock, to the dock hands, they, they buy it easily, and thankfully, since you had made that communication with the gilded wasp, it's, they buy everything that, hey, you're a new, that you're a new, um, member of the Carpenters Guild, and that you were personally recommended by by the Gilded Wasp, by the Captain, the Jolly Jolly Rogers. And they're just, oh, well, you know him by name. <laughs> That's impressive. Of course, of course, and there will be no charge, no fee for docking. Please, enjoy your day. Do you head to the Carpenter's Guild? Well, oh, no, 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 of course not. I, I couldn't. You see... When uh when we were fighting that, the reason that I'm not currently loaded up with cargo, uh, I had to dump most of my equipment, uh, tools included, so I can't go to the Carpenters Guild. That would that would uh leave ah. me leave me looking quite out of place. Inter, I like this. So, are you just going to head straight to the negotiation where it needs to be done? No time like the present. Oh, this is great. Now, for another person, they were just here. This is that same resort that Figs had just come from. You're approaching the guards, look at you, they know exactly why you've come here. The... I'm just going to say there's a blanket laid over his body. And Winston Elf Hill is removing some gloves. Just, <laughs> yes, I, I, I do not like to get their blood on, onto my hands. As he takes this, off his yeah, gloves. This isn't the body of the... Of the imp? Yes, it is. Oh, it is. Oh. He, and as Winston Elf Hill turns to you... The guys on his body finally drops. You're looking at a celestial. Not my favorite, but we'll make it work. Hello, my name is Ser- my name is Seraphine. You may just call me Sarah. Of course it is, and of course I can. Sure. Hmm. I take it you're the one here to See about getting that one. That's that's one way to put it. Yeah. Hmm. 
I, I entirely dislike dealing with uh, Celestials. Oh. <laughs> well, I hate... I don't really like dealing with people that have the stink of Abyssal on them. So I'll make sure to try my patience as well. Think of Abyssal. I'd rather smell like an Abyssal than smell like a morning glory in a in church pew. <clears throat> but to each their own, I suppose. You know, that little one right there talked about how he had a friend that would most likely come for him that would make sure to put me in my place. Hmm, I reckon your name is Alcide. It is. Now, Hmm. when you say your place, uh, is there a trash can around? Uh, a, A dumpster will do. He is really trying to keep his composure. You know what? I have a... I just want you out of my place. I already have a bad taste in my mouth because that one was surprisingly more resilient than I thought. Let Hmm. your boss know that free of charge... I'm not even going to ask for anything. I just want you out of my sight. You, I will not forget your face. With I, pleasure. I will I, not, I'd love to get right out of here. I will not forget the humiliation you brought upon me today. You've made an enemy. Seraphine turns to huff away. They are just beyond pissed. Also, you still have the ability. If you want to give one last quip on him, go ahead. Yes, much like a... Much like a Celestial to just run away. They're never, they're never great at handling their problems. They'd just rather fly back to their, oh, you know, that place. You're just as uncouth as that filthy changeling. God, I still feel filthy being in its presence. And the fact I had to lower myself. Two times today. I'll give you that one. Go along, Gearforged. Go back to your masters. And you know what? You can let them know they get a win today. Well, it's not a win if you're fighting someone incompetent. Oh, whoops, I said the loud part, or the quiet part out loud. He opens his door, goes into his private chambers, and slams it behind him. Your crew goes and gently picks up... Picks up the informant's body, being very gentle, wrapping the sheet around him, so none of what was done to him is shown. And they go... You don't have to be that careful, guys. He's already dead. You're not going to hurt him. Hey, yeah. Do you know who you just told off? I, I don't, but also I don't care. Oh, shit. You're going to get some real big accommodations. That's the general, the right now the acting general in arms for the Celestial Army. And you, oh my god. Oh my god, this is big. You know, Captain, I knew... Hmm, 
I knew when I joined your crew this, this was going to be great. Celestial Army, whatever. As long as we're getting what we need and we get the reward that we were promised, it's all fine. The Celestials are all talk on the wing. As you are heading out, that's your this comments just sting even more. From the shadows, one of the members of your guild gives you the signal that everything has been received, and your reward is on its way. And they also give you the hand signal to expect a little more. There are a little more hand signal? That's Actually, a- yeah. Which is, sure. So, the best way I can put this is, is that I, yes, I actually put thought into these hand signals. It's with the index finger and the pinky raised up, the middle the middle finger pointed forward and the and the right and the ring finger kind of bend, bent against the bent against the palm and with the thumb against the like ra- like measuring against the middle finger, it just looks like a they're kind of looks like they're measuring like a little bit with their fingers. That's the hand signal for expect a little bit more. Fair enough. I'll take it. This was a successful mission. I will be contacting you later, Alcide, in private DMs to... We need to talk about what's going to be coming your way with the guild. Sure. Now, this has been a fantastic start to the Romance of the Ship Kingdoms. And I cannot wait for what is going to be coming into this story. There is much more to come, dear listeners, and expect more from our first three amazing players and our characters, the Seer, Figs, and All Seed. So thank you so much, listeners, and until our next one, goodbye.